How's it going everybody? Today on Robert Rocks and Lapidary, we will be hunting this beautiful rock pile here. Well, it's mostly a dirt pile, but the rain has washed down all these rocks. So we have found some beautiful jaspers, Chinese writing stones, and all that on this rock pile. So we're going to be hunting for quartz, calcite, Chinese writing stone, jaspers, agates, and so on. So we'll bring you in on the first find. All right, so we just found this piece of jasper right here. You can see it. We're going to pick it up. And then there's another piece of jasper right next to it. Oh, that's cool. Here, we'll wash them off here to show you what they look like. Not too amazing, but they need to be polished up to show their true beauty. Let's keep on hunting. We just found this beautiful piece of, it's called a galaxy agate. Let's wash her off and I'll show you what it looks like. So that's a galaxy agate if you're wondering. It's just a piece of basalt or limestone with a bunch of little agate nodules in it. So that's pretty cool find. Let's throw it in our bucket and keep on hunting. All right, so my friend here just found this really nice jasper. Let's wash it off here. Look at that. It's actually a yellow iron stone jasper. That's pretty cool. Let's drop it in the bucket and keep on hunting. Check this out. A piece of hematite that's on top of quartz. That's a nice piece. I very, very rarely find a piece like this. Oh, look at that hematite on top of a piece of quartz. That's tough to say what I'll do with it. I might cut it, actually, instead of tumbling it. So anyway, we'll bring you in on the next find. So I just found this huge galaxy agate. I did pull it out of its socket and put it up here just for the camera. So you can't really see much for agate on it, but I promise you that thing is full of pink agates. That is neat. Ready for the big splash? All right, we'll bring you in on the next find. All right, so my friend here just found this beautiful little jasper here. And uh, he didn't notice it, but I showed him right above his little jasper was a big one. <laughs> Let's uh, wash them off and check them out. There you go. All right, show them in the nice sunlight here. Look at those jaspers. There are some nice ones. And again, this is iron stone jasper. It's more like a clustered jasper. It's a bunch of little, basically, jasper sand. And it's heat and compressed with almost some hematite sand. And it makes some beautiful pieces. Look at that. We'll bring you in on the next find. All right, so I'm bringing you in because I just found this beautiful little piece of it's a green hematite. I've never seen that before. I know it exists, but I've never seen it before. Well, look at that, it's on some jasper. <laughs> All right, we'll bring you in on the next find. Yeah! All right, look at that galaxy agate that I just walked upon. That is amazing. We'll wash it off. Look at the bands in that. Oh, that is cool. That is going to be a cutter for sure. We'll bring you in on the next good find. All right, so my friend Austin here just found this. It's not really all that great of a stone. We don't really collect it unless it's in large quantities. It's called Galaxy Stone. Now, it's the same thing as a galaxy agate, except the little bubbles in there are not agates. They're actually just quartz. So that's a little geology lesson of the day. We'll bring you in on the next find. 
All right, our finds are really slowing down. We've gone over a lot of this. But this is a nice little jasper we just found. And this could be a big jasper. It has potential. So we're going to wash them off. And see what we got. Nope, that's basalt. That is our nice little jasper. Look at that cute little guy. But it's nice quality. Let's keep on hunting. Just walking along. And I saw this nice little galaxy agate. So I looked down at it. And it has a heart in it. Look at that. It's a Valentine stone. <laughs> but yeah, so that's a really cool galaxy agate. I wouldn't have, I was not going to pick it up because the agates in it weren't great quality. But when I seen that heart, I had to grab it. That's a cool find. Let's keep on searching. So my friend just found this beautiful little piece of hematite ironstone jasper. And I look down and I see this piece. Let's wash them off and see what they look like. Oh, that's cool. Oh, his is better. He's a better rock hunter than I am. I'm giving up. <laughs> Let's drop him in the bucket and see what else we can find today. Another piece of ironstone jasper. So it has some quartz in it, this one does. That makes it kind of unique. Let's get it washed off and see what it looks like wet. Not the most impressive wet, but I will assure you this. Oh, the other side is nice. Look at that. Oh, that is nice. Let's hope to find some more of these today. Again, let's keep on hunting. So again, my friend Austin, he just found this. It's a piece of Jasper with quartz in it. Now, let's wash this thing yeah. off and check it out. Ooh, I'm tripping oh. over the bucket. Oops. Well, oh, that's pretty. It almost resembles granite, but it also almost resembles a uh, moss agate, but it's not. It's a type of jasper. Let's keep on hunting. Holy crap. Oh. That is an amazing red jasper. I can't believe I crossed that like five times. Holy moly. Wow. That, is that is nice. What a way to end the day. Crap. We got to see this thing yes. washed off. That's the biggest, that's the best stone of the day. That is, that's the best stone of the day. Wow. That is a nice... I have not seen very many of those rock hunting. Let's hold it up here. Oh, let me see this. What? Wow. And you found this. Yes. That one of your best finds so yes. far? Yes. All right. So at that, we're going to end the video. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.